Good morning, Abby. It's Monday, and welcome to Super Brawl 2. You're probably wondering what the heck this is. So, this is a Nickelodeon fighting game, so it's it's literally just Smash Brothers, but with random Nickelodeon characters. Now, you may be wondering, what happened to Super Brawl 1? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't on the Nick website by the time I was old enough to play Nickelodeon games, so... I don't know, I can't attest if Super Brawl 1 is any good, but this game took up so much of my childhood. And honestly, I don't even remember anything about it. I was just like, you know what? This is a thing that we can do, so let's let's do it. So, we're just gonna play this for like 15 minutes and see what happens. Also, I had to turn the sound off, because if I have it on, then technical difficulties happen. So sorry, but this game really does have a kicking soundtrack. So I'm sad that I can't play it. Oh, I remember the path to the Brawl Master. You have to, like, you have to beat, you beat, like, ten tournaments, and then you get challenged by a secret character. Oh, the secret character is just, like, a palette-swapped version of you, if I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I was, like, super hype about trying to, about trying to get to the end when I was a kid. All right. Who do we want to be friends? Air not sexed. Oh. Well, I... Okay, so this isn't on the Nick website anymore, so I had to go to a different website to find it. So I guess they didn't program it correctly, because some of these characters don't have words for their names. I'm trying to think. I remember Otis as being, like, a really good character who was really hard to beat. And I also remember, uh, Karate Spongebob being really good. Hmm, who do I want to be? Let's be Karate Sponge. I'm, I'm feeling that today. Alright, we're fighting Kitty Cats. Well, okay. How do I do things? Okay. We, we jump and we, okay, we block. Okay, X and Z. All I remember about this game is just mashing X and Z until I won. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And then I can fill the super meter to perform a super special move by using right, right, X. Alright, I, I think we got this. Round one. Go! Ha! Uh, I'm wrecking Kid Cat's well. Uh, I seem to remember that, like, uh... Her character is cross-eyed, but the sprite's moving so fast that I can't actually tell if it does. No, don't shoot me with your freaking spy gun. That's that's rude. How darest thou? So yeah, this is the game. You you mash X and Z until the opponent dies. <laughs> there are very few characters against which that strategy does not work. Like, Otis, and, uh, the, the girl from Super Bee, or the Amazing Bee, or whatever that show is, she can also be kind of hard. They're, like, the two of the characters that you can't actually do that against. Honestly, I should have been Plankton, because I, I don't, I don't think you saw it on, like, the menu. But Plankton in this game, instead of fighting as himself, he just has, a, like, a super buff guy that he's controlling. And then he just fights with him. Alright, it's fanboy, except the game calls him air no text. I, from what I understand, a lot of people really don't like fanboy and chum chum nowadays, but like... Like, obviously it's a freaking weird show, but I didn't mind it back in the day, honestly, when I was a kid. It was entertaining enough. I mean, I would argue that it's better than something like a, what was that show called? They were advertising a show for a really long time that was called like a something pig banana pickle or something like that. I don't, pig goat banana cricket, is that it? Something like that. It was just super stupid and I was just like, why? <laughs> It's, it's weird, because, like, Nickelodeon puts out a lot of crap, but then occasionally they'll have, like, one show that's actually really good and is super underrated. Like, um, Welcome to the Wayne and Hunter Street are two legitimately entertaining Nickelodeon shows that I think you should watch if you haven't. 
And then I've already talked about Every Which Way. I think that's, it's not perfect, but it has its merits and it's watchable. But, uh, Welcome to the Wayne. The third season is airing right now. Or not Welcome to the Wayne, what am I talking about? Hunter Street. The third season of Hunter Street is airing right now. And, uh, it's, it's not as good as the other seasons, but I am sticking with it till the end because the hunt, because I believe that Hunter Street deserves more attention because it's actually lit. <laughs> And so is Welcome to the Wayne as well. It's, eh, it's not, again, it's not perfect, but it has a lot of genuine wit and humor that I think a lot of uh, shows are lacking. And it's got a nice charm to it. And the stories, the story manages to be interesting. It's, just watch Welcome to the Wayne, okay? It's, it's, it's funny, I promise. Okay, Spongebob apparently has the dumbest AI ever, because he's literally just standing there. <laughs> Is this making for good YouTube, folks? You, you having fun at home? Honestly, I could just make this an entire series just of me trying to reach my ultimate challenge if y'all would find that entertaining but i don't think me going for 10 episodes would be very entertaining to watch i don't know maybe it's just me i remember um for some reason uh timmy turner's ai is programmed so that if you just stand on one side of the screen and mash buttons he will just stand there and never do anything, and he's like the only character who does that for some reason. I don't know why. That's just what he does. Now that I think about it, there are probably people, like kids out there, who don't even know what some of the shows in this thing are referencing, but like, all of these, uh, shows that are in this game are like, classic childhood favorites of mine, except maybe the, uh, the B one. As you can tell by the fact that I don't know what it's called. <laughs> or matching the arrow keys as well, because I don't really care about this bonus round. I cannot wait to listen back on the audio from this. I imagine it's very entertaining. I only missed five just by randomly matching buttons. That's a good time. It's, as I remember, it's really hard to actually hit all of them. Bessie is a character that I remember as being tricky because she does that and then she has this attack where she just stings you with a bunch of bees and it like immobilizes you and it sucks. Or if I remember correctly. What is the name of your show? The Amazing Bee? What- what is she from? Hold on, can- wait, is there like a pause button? Is I- I kinda wanna just look this up mid-episode now. Actually, no, that would be a stupid idea, because that would completely- Yep, so this is- this is her B thing. This is what she does. This is- this is Bessie, everybody. Oh my god. St stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Just have to fight her for one more round. Pier 31, is that a thing from the show? Because I don't, I don't remember that. But then again, I've seen very few episodes of The Amazing Bee, or whatever this is. Whatever she's from. Let me attack you. Come on, you only have like a fourth of your health bar left. She has too much range. I hate her. Okay, she's dead. Oh, dang it, we have to fight Pr Dr. Blowhole? Is that your name? I remember him as also being kind of hard to fight. 
Dr. Blowhole, Mr. Blowhole, he's from the freaking penguins of Madagascar. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Mr. Blowhole, something Blowhole. Who are you? And like, he can also be a problem because his laser beam right there has a bit of knockback as well, so it can put you in a situation similar to Bessie, where you're just stuck and you can't. Okay, he's he's good. Hey, -ya! SpongeBob, move when you jump. Goodness. But yeah, I love that when he dodges, he just puts his face down. Like, yeah, it's fine, dude. We're pretty fine. Come on, freaking blowhole man. What what is your name? Oh, his stupid tail flipper attack. That also has a lot of knockback and a lot of range. Oh, come on. Come on, blowhole man. Time seven, come. I won, and I have 169,000 points, guys. Can I submit my score? Will that crash the game? Oh, well. Well, now nothing is doing anything, so I'm assuming I just crashed the game with my own stupidity. So we're going to end this here. Uh, I hope this was marginally entertaining to someone, and Abby, I will see you on Friday.